While working on a manuscript in Scrivener, it might help to display some information in the form of a table or a bulleted list embedded in your document. To create a table, click at the point in your document where you want the table to appear and go to Insert Table. This will insert a simple table with two rows and three columns and open a floating table panel with a variety of options. Rows and columns can be added or removed here. The alignment options allow you to choose how text is aligned within individual cells. The options below that let you increase the cell border size and change colors for both the borders and the backgrounds of cells. To change these properties for a group of cells, click and drag within the table to select the contents of each cell, then adjust the alignment, border, or background while these cells are selected. Note that taking the cell border width down to zero removes the borders entirely, allowing you to keep the table layout without any visible cell borders. The Format Table menu contains additional options for managing tables, such as the ability to add rows and columns before or after the current cell, move entire rows and columns, sort rows if they contain numerical or alphabetized data, and distribute the rows and columns evenly if you want all the cells to be the same height or the same width. To create a bulleted list, click at the point in your document where you want the list to appear and click the bulleted list icon in the format bar, or alternatively, go to format lists. In each case, you will be asked to choose a bullet type. We'll go with the basic dot for now. If we type some text and hit return, the next point on the list will automatically appear. Hitting tab will indent this next bullet point, changing the bullet style, and allowing you to nest items on your list. If you don't like this bullet style, you can change it from the format bar or format lists menu, and any future items at that level of indentation will use the same bullet style. Bulleted lists can also use numbers, and you can create a custom list with a prefix and suffix to your bullet point, allowing each bullet to begin with, for example, item one, and so forth. Numerals from other alphabets are also available here. When you finish typing your bulleted list, simply hit return and then hit return again. Scrivener will recognize that the final bullet contains no text and will return to regularly formatted text. Finally, it's worth quickly noting that the macOS text engine, which Scrivener uses as a foundation, can sometimes cause tables and lists to reset the formatting of the following paragraph. For this reason, it's a good idea to leave a couple of return characters after a table or a list has been inserted into your document. That's all we're going to cover in this video. If you want to learn more about the features of Scrivener, our other videos should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching and happy writing.